Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadine and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to make this beautiful dress. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below if you have any questions for me. And tell me what do you think about this video. First thing we're going to do is to take our measurements. We're going to measure our waist, bust, hips and decide the skirt lengths and write them all down. I decided I want my skirt to be 18 inches long so I added 1 inch extra for seam allowance. Now let's gather our tools. You will need rotary cutter or scissors, measuring tape or ruler and pins. Lots and lots of pins. I'm measuring a yard on the table and marking it down so it can be easier for me to measure and cut my fabric. Now I'm going to cut 9 yards from that tool and we're gonna do that twice so we will end up with 2 9 yards pieces. Then I'm going to fold and pin the 9 yards together so it's easier for me to mark and cut. Next I mark and cut the edge of the tool and then I mark the desired length which is 19 inches and go ahead and cut it. Now we're going to separate the layers of the tool and we're supposed to end up with 4 layers 9 yards each. Then we're going to take three of the four pieces and we're going to use our widest and longest stitch to sew a line across each of these pieces so we can gather them separately. Now we gather and gather and gather and gather. Oh. Then we will pin the layers together and make sure the edges are straight and there are no gathers stuck in between the layers. This is what two layers look like before I added the third layer. I need you to hurry up, sheep. Chop, chop. After adding the third layer, I started working on the ruffles for the fourth layer, which is the last and most time consuming. I'm cutting a 14 inches by 24 yards tool strip, and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sew a wide stitch across the edge of that piece and then gather it. I'm okay. We will then pin the gather 24 yards piece to the final layer that we didn't gather before. Make sure that the hems of both layers are matching, or you can make the gathered strip a little longer if you want. Okay, let's take that to the sewing machine and sew it. And please, make sure that you don't sew on pins, after all you don't want to put off your eyes. Now we're going to sew a gathering stitch on the top edge of this piece and gather it. Yay, how fun is it to see all these layers come together. Now we're going to pin and sew the four layers together. At this point, I was consumed by the tool and couldn't stand staying in this office anymore. Then we're going to serge it and this is just an optional step. I just like to reduce the bulk and to make everything sit nice and neat. Now let's make the lining of the skirt. I'm cutting a circle skirt. If you don't know how to cut a circle skirt, please leave a comment below and I will make sure to put a short video explaining it. The length of the circle skirt is 19 inches long taking into consideration that this lining will be hemmed so it will be shorter than the tool which is what I wanted. Make sure to open the back seam for the zipper installment. Now let's head to the serger and serge all the edges. I've also went ahead and cut all the bodice pieces. Make sure to cut two each so you can have the lining and the bodice. Now we're going to pin these pieces right sides together. And you know it, we're gonna sew them together and make sure we're gonna do this for the bodies and the lining pieces. Now we're going to top stitch the seams of the corset to make sure it lies flat and looks nice. Make sure to iron as you go as it will be hard to do so once everything is attached. Now we're going to attach the boning casing to the corset seams. Make sure to leave about an inch from top and bottom so you can easily insert the boning and so you don't accidentally sew them with the lining. And then go ahead and sew it. Okay, let's drape. At this point I was improvising as I go because I only had a short time to make this dress. So I'm just gathering and pinning some tool pieces to the corset and I'm only doing the top now. I will then attach it and move to doing the bottom part.
After sewing it, I'm removing the excess tool just to reduce the bulk. Now we're going to pin the bottom part. Then we're gonna flip it over to make sure everything is lying flat and fix anything that's not. Now let's take it to the sewing machine and attach it. Now I'm pinning the corset and the skirt lining together and I'm going to sew them. Make sure to hem the skirt lining as you go. And we're going to do the same for the main dress, we're attaching the corset to the skirt. Only this time you don't have to hem anything. Okay, let's work on the sleeves. We're going to measure the exact sleeve length that we want. If you don't know, you can always measure one of your current sleeve lengths. Mine was 13 inches long, so I multiplied that by 5 and I have cut a tool piece with that measurement. I will then fold it so we can have 8 layers in that piece and we're going to pin the folded edge. Then we're going to trim the other edge to make sure that the pieces can be separated. For gathering the sleeves, I decided to use the zigzag method. I simply got a fishing line as it is slippery and will help me easily gather. You will then attach the edge of that line with the edge of the fabric and then you're going to sew a zigzag stitch while holding the fishing line in between. This will make it so easy to just pull the fishing line and the pieces will be gathered. It's magic! Make sure to pin and hold the other side of that fishing line so nothing slips away. Now we're going to attach a satin ribbon. I didn't have a narrow one so I'm using a wide one and folding it in half. Make sure to leave about 2 inches on both sides so you can attach the sleeve to the dress easily. Now we're going to go ahead and separate all these 8 layers. Then we're going to attach the zipper. I'm using an invisible zipper but you can always use a normal one if it makes it easier for you. Now I'm marking where I want my sleeves to go. I attach the front to the outer sides of the bust seams and the back to the inner sides of the back seam that is closer to the zipper. I hope that makes sense. And we're nearing the end. I'm now pinning and sewing the lining to the main dress. Now for the belt, I used the same satin ribbon that I used for the sleeves, only I didn't fold it this time. And I got an adhesive sparkly trim and I will attach and iron them together. Okay guys, we came to the end of this video. And finally we made this beautiful dress. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you!